Hey guys, okay, so this is my first video in here and I'm so like kind of pissed about it because look at my hair. I wanted to make a better impression on you guys, but this is what happens in Ohio when it rains like all day and you have to go places and do things because you're a, a woman of work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that was. But anyways, this is just a quick video. I'm going to post like a couple of these every week. Um, just about like little things with your branding that you can do and you can work on and it will blow up your business like beyond what you thought it could ever do. So the first one today, and it just came to me while I was driving in the car this morning, but it was why you should always be living and breathing your brand. Especially if you're an entrepreneur, because here's the thing, like if you're an entrepreneur, that's your passion. That's your life's work. If you're not living it day to day and you're just online, like typing away, like another persona, like no, like you have a fan base. You have people that know you for your work online. So when they see you in person, they are going to expect what they see online. So you better be ready for that. So I, um, I'm going to relate this to a couple situations. Well, just one in particular, but when I was obsessed with the fitness world, I loved this girl. I loved her Instagram. I loved her website. I just fangirled so hard for her. And it was like the Arnold of three years ago, I think. I met her and I was so disappointed because she's so personable online and she seems to really care about her followers and all that sort of stuff. And she just... It was like talking to a brick wall. Like I couldn't even hold a conversation with her, which I understand in those situations, they're talking to like 20 million people per day. And of course you're getting a little tired and a little grumpy, whatever, but for her to just completely forget about who she was online and forget about all the things that she stood for being in the fitness industry, like it was terrible. And I think that was the moment that I started to realize that you need to be authentic in who you are because you never know when you're gonna get caught off guard. And when you're caught off guard, you can't fake it. People will under, they will know. So that's my little tidbit for the day. Just if you have a business and it's all about you, even if it's not all about you, if it's like a product that you came up with, like you know what your product stands for, um, just live that out in your day-to-day -day life because it's gonna be so much easier to build a fan base, to build the trust of people when you're just being you and you don't have to fake anything. That is it. I love you guys.